Greetings and welcome, welcome to another episode of Vagram's Chats. Thank you for joining me. Um, we've got the home here built. The floor has been set up. This is just chisel, cobblestone. But I think what I want to do, I want to dig up a section of it right in the middle and change the pattern on it. But I'll do that in just a second. I have expanded a little bit. Uh, my um, facilities have expanded a little. You'll see I have done some mining quite a bit to be sure. Now, a lot of that can be the result of this, the master staff. I have spent eight levels and a lot of food to get this. And what it has afforded me, oh, hello there. Thank you. What it has afforded me is a mine shaft. Now, this goes all the way down to, I think that you can see some chests down there goes down to Y level 10 and uh, that has very quickly expanded out into the mines while I have uh, been tapping the the uh, ravine here dry. I'm actually gonna step down here real quick and just walk over here and show you. I actually had a lot of luck in the ravine. It has served me quite well so far. Let's see if we can hollow out some of this coal here. Will I give you a good talk and bring you up to date on what's going on? Uh, I have ooh, more cave. Oh, got a visitor. You're going to have to come to me, bud. There we go. Nice piece of armor. We got ourselves a bow. Basically, I saved up enough experience that I could actually get the Master's Staff from Minions. Now, I have not been using them for all of my mining needs. I have been rationing them out, specifically because every time you command, every time you summon your minions, it uses food from your hunger bar. Every time you command them to dig a mine shaft or dig a strip mine, it uses food. And I'll show you that in a little bit. So I have to be careful. I actually cannot use them left and right right now because that could lead to food problems and starvation. Let's put that there. Actually, that gets us back up on the ledge. And I'm just going to get some more of this ore over here. Copper, copper everywhere. There we go. Okay. I'm a little curious as to what's over here. Ooh, more tin. I think I have a lot of tin, actually. I've been fortunate enough to run across a fair amount of it. Mm, but, you never know if you're going to need more. I think this comes out. Ooh, more iron. I think that's it for that patch of iron. Some marble, interestingly enough. Kimmy, are you? Yeah, so we're back outside. I think I know. chickens. I'm going to head back, start heading back to the house real quick and I'll show you some of the more changes that have been going on. So I have been busy, busy. Uh, when I got enough levels, eight levels, got the master staff and I used it to do some digging. Now, when you get the minions out, you have to make as much use of them for as long as you can, because once you set them to a task, you'll basically starve yourself very quickly doing so. Ooh, more of my trees have grown. 
Um, so you have to be careful. I cannot use the master staff constantly. Um, I have been using it for some large batches of tree growth. I mean, of tree harvesting, my oak farm right there and of mining, but I've actually tried to limit it to those two tasks only once each. Now, I've been doing some cooking. This is espresso. This is literally coffee beans and sugar from sugar cane. Now, I had to, whoops. Uh, yes, I had to go look for sugar cane. So, it was... Hmm. This is interesting. That's the garden. I believe... I don't know why it didn't save on the map. I'm not sure what happened there. But basically, just over here, there is a desert right along this stretch. And just over here, there is a desert temple that I actually decided to go to. I was actually looking for uh, river and sugar cane, and I'd seen the river off in the distance. Going there resulted in me finding the actual uh, desert temple, and in the desert temple I found all of these goodies. That was under the floor. Um, mundane trinkets, there was also these right here. Now, I, I'm not absolutely sure what these do for me. It's only a 1% discount, but hey. Mm -hmm. I've got some other mundane amulets that I'm quite sure I could use some other purpose for. Thaumium Axe, seven Thaumium ingots that I probably won't be able to use for quite a while. But we've got two Division Sigils that I actually found. I've also found some skeleton and zombie spawners along the way. One was actually in a dungeon down in the ravine. Well, just off near the ravine that I actually found. And the other two came from uh, Wicker Men that are put in by witchery. And this is the Thaumonomicon, which means that we're going to have to start getting some resources together to start getting into Thaumcraft. Very early on, I'm very excited about that. Um, I have now the garden set up. These are open tanks with some sprinklers on top. Real simple. I have to manually bucket water in, but it works pretty well. Uh, you can see the water level going down just a little bit. It kind of waves. His row is coffee beans. What I can do is coffee beans is I can do coffee beans and sugar to make espresso. And these easily actually replenish five or six actual legs, full legs of, uh, uh, full ticks, basically, on the hunger bar. Not a half bar, but a whole bar. Six whole bars. Easily. And it has really good saturation, too. Um, these are just ordinary carrots. And potatoes. Those are candle berries. We'll be circling back to those in a little bit. Oh, that's the staff. Woo. Um, scared the wits out of myself for a second there. Uh, let's see. These are tea leaves. Tea leaves are very cool. Uh, you can do a similar kind of thing. Let me go get my watering can real quick. I did make a watering can. Whoops. Oh, actually, real quick. Let me put those, 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 and those in there and sort that. Um, there. There's the watering can. Okay. You like the path stones? These are open blocks. I really do like these things. Um, I have a resource pack plugged in. Oh, that was, that was nice and fast. Resource pack plugged in. That means I don't see the particles from the, the little water sprinkles from the watering can. So it takes some getting used to. Tea leaves. All you got to do, you can either do a snowball and some raspberries to make raspberry iced tea tea leaf and some ground cinnamon and some black pepper ooh, to make chai tea or uh let's see you put one in a crafting grid to get a seed smelt it and you get a cup of tea so i can grow these and smelt them and get equivalent to espresso also which is real nice i'm very excited about that need two of those so yeah all the way down here this is Oats and barley, I can actually use these to make flour for uh, a lot of recipes in uh, Pam's Harvest Craft. So, we have a sustainable food source. Uh, I want to show you guys, this is a fence design that I actually saw on Reddit. 
This is actually another cobblestone fence right down there, cobblestone wall. When you walk up to it, you'll see I go oop up a little bit. Then that means that this is instead of a block and a half height, this makes it, I'm standing on a half block, so it's only a block height. I can jump on top of the fence, jump down, no harm, no foul, nice and easy. Now, I know this is not the most optimum farming setup, but there are actually vanilla rules about having big squares of uh, crops side by side. It's better to run them in lines like this and alternate. Uh, and uh, I just decided that I like the symmetry of adding the lines of water. Thought it looked good. So we're going with it. Um, wrong one. Put that up there. I've got this chest is full of... Take this out and we'll do a little bit of sorting. You'll see I've actually got some cactus. The cactus was fetched from the trip down to the river to actually get some sugar cane. That's the extra sugar cane. I'm keeping some eggs and not trying to turn them into chickens because some of Pam's Harvest Craft actually does use eggs in the recipe. We got a good stockpile of barley there, as you can see. I actually do have some bread that I just made a little while ago. Lots of mustard seeds to spice things up. Those are some extra coffee beans. And I can actually show you guys. Get one of those. One of those. We just turn that into sugar. And there you go. Espresso. Nice and easy. I'm going to actually take a rest. Whoops. Get closer to the bed. There we go. Take a little rest real quick and see what the morning will bring us. Now, this one I'm going to get rid of. That's where the stilt was. Ah, the sight of zombies and skeletons burning in the sun. Never gets old. Ah, I'm going to put those in there. Along with those. You notice that I'm gathering up a big stockpile of clay. I've got a lot of wood. I'm actually thinking about getting this door and closing it. And moving it over here. Specifically because... I'm probably not going to be using this door to get out to the actual ravine anymore. I'll go out this way, and some of the tunnels can actually take me into the ravine area. So, we'll see. Hi. There we go. I am actually trying to collect some gunpowder. I think there's some bad guys hiding under the trees up there. Can't see them, but I think they're up there somewhere. Uh, we still have a... You know what? That reminds me. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. So... If I'm going to cook one, I may as well... Actually, you know what? Nope, nope, nope. Something we need to do first. I... Need to look up. Because I can't remember what the recipe for it is. The production table. Now, first thing we need to do is a blank upgrade. A blank upgrade is actually two stone. And then two wood. Can't remember if I cooked any stone already or not. Since I have to put some in, I may as well. Couple batch. And let's get... Couple of oak. And I'm actually going to need one of those as well. Get that. And I think that nets us a blank upgrade. Then we have to get some cobblestone and wood. And put that there. Those across the top. We have the production table. Hooray! Now this is going to serve us quite well. But we have to do something with it first. First thing I'm going to do is socket a crafting table right there. I'm going to actually go ahead and pick up this furnace. Let's put it right. Whoopsie. Put it right there. We're going to want to make sure 
Grab another one of those. And this one is done, which means we can now officially set this up. Now, what we actually get to do now is a great deal better. There we go. I have three furnaces in one block, but that's actually not why I love it. It's not just the space condensation and the fact that I actually have a crafting table that I can walk away from and it keeps its ingredients. It's not the big perk. The perk is efficiency. This thing has a single repository of fuel for all three actual furnaces. Or if I had four furnaces in here, basically, it would be a single repository of fuel, which means you don't have to worry about cooking eight things in a batch just to make sure you don't waste any coal. That's not a worry anymore. Uh, let's see. Production, speed charging, speed extra, storage. Fuel efficiency is something I actually think I want. Stacks up to eight times. Ooh. So what I want to do is cook. I'm going to need two redstone and then another two redstone. Which means I'm going to need one, two, three. Whoops. One, two, three. And then that. Uh, and a considerable amount more cobblestone than I think I have on hand. Hmm, I might have to go mining. Where has all the cobble gone? <laughs> oh, I know. Hang on a sec. Uh, nope. Nope. Oh, yes. Just gonna grab. Actually. Let's grab a lot and go back upstairs. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make at least one, maybe two of these fuel efficiency upgrades and socket them into the actual work table, which means our coal will go farther, which is going to be great. Then we can actually look into making some more ore processing, which is going to be real, real nice. Uh, let's see. Mm-hmm. Just going to divide those up a little bit. Go up here, and we need... to... make us a pair of chests. And it is getting where we are going to need... Just something to put all of the stone related materials in. I'm actually going to move that and that and that over here. Which reminds me. Put you over here. Time being. Not you. So now we've got all this nice iron. We need to grab some wood. Some cobblestone and let me think more smooth stone I'm gonna want to make at least one fuel upgrade to begin with it gets us a blank right there we're gonna do two of those guys because we need two pistons Uh, nope. Fuel efficiency. Oh, we need one piston. Well, we're making two now. Hang on a sec. Hmm. 
which means I'm going to need another one of those. Let's get one, two, and I still need Now you notice, see, it's using just a little bit of fuel per ingot. It actually does not queue up, so you don't have to use eight things in a row. That's what I love about this. We now have two upgrades. We put right there, and our fuel is going to go even farther. That's going to be wonderful. Okay. So, the next thing I actually want to make is easy crafting table right there I'm gonna need three of those I cannot remember I don't think I actually have any real leather so what we're gonna do is do patchwork and this is actually using less fuel per smelt now and we can still do it one at a time Oh, actually, no, that's what I wanted. Do that, that. Uh, actually, that's not quite there yet. I don't need that many crafting tables. One of those and one of these. We now have the easy crafting table. This thing is going to make our life a lot simpler. So now... It sees wood, cobblestone, and smooth stone. Put those back. Actually, let's put those back. And I tell you what, one thing that we actually need to start thinking about now is where are they? Better barrel. Six barrels, mm, just a few parts left over. Wonderful. Oh gosh. Which means now we can do that. 19 stacks. There's still more downstairs somewhere. Dirt. Let's get smooth stone and put that right there. A stack of dirt. Gravel. And we're probably going to end up with a fair amount of marble. There we go. Raw resources right next to the bed. We can get these. Back there. And put that right there, which comes up with the next actual upgrade that I would love to do. But uh, yes. Mm, auto transfer. Wow. Okay. So I actually have to smelt some gold first. I'm going to need uh, six of those. I'm going to need ten iron. I'm actually going to get two stone. Go ahead and put you in for cooking. And those as well. And let me think. Aha! We have two spare chests. How fortuitous. Get one, two. And I'm going to show you the power of 
the easy crafting table. Oh, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. I could move these to separate ones, but yeah. It's easier just to complain about it. <laughs> I'm really hoping, I'm, I'm hoping that within the next week, maybe two, the actual mod pack will come out. I'm not sure, but I, I don't think it's going to be happening within the same week that you are seeing this episode. I think it's still a week or two off. So we've got all the parts, right? Let's go up here. This is everything we can make out of these. And what I'm actually looking for is that right there. Auto transfer. Now watch this. Ta-da! Exact number of parts, everything we needed. So now what I can actually do is set this to output auto transfer. Same side, same side. There we go. Very nice, which means now if we actually cook up, let's say old habits die hard. Let's split that up a little bit. What you'll notice is it's not staying. It's automatically getting transferred as it gets processed right here into the handy dandy chest. I'm going to sleep to make these guys shut up. So, this is one of the reasons why I've been real big on Steve's Workshop. It is an early game lifesaver. It has fuel efficiency for the actual cooking. You're sharing one reserve of power for all of the devices here. And I have a regular crafting table right here, which means if I wanted to, I could actually get this, take it out, and make another furnace to put right there. We could four barrel this, and it would be real nice. Now, the only thing we need to do now is increase production. We need ore processing, and that is gonna have to be flax beards. Now, in order to do anything about flax beards, what I'm going to need, I'm gonna grab a stack of this, uh, let's see. I need... First of all... I need to make a book. Which means... More leather. Grab that and pull it out. Put that in there. Paper. Thank you. Let's get this. Put it away. Uh, world domination. Interesting. Okay. Nope. What I need to do is I need to get a copper ore. And a zinc ore. There it is. Esteemed innovation. Close the... Close the door. I'm actually going to put that back. Yes. I think it's very interesting where it always says the player's name right there. Okay, so what I need to do... Aha. The Crucible. So, three, six, seven. Then I'm going to have to make one of these. So, that is 13... Then uh, another six, because I need three of these. Yowza. Thirteen. Uh... Oh, no, I need four of them. So that's two times four, eight. That's 21. Okay, so I need 21 of these things. For absolutely no waste. There we go, good enough. Whoops. Nice reserve of clay. Now, I have to remember where I put the lava. What? 
Who? Oh ho! I'm going to ignore you and hope you go away. Okay. Whoop. Skeleton. Found the lava. I'll show you real quick. One of my minions ran across this. A bunch of nasties in there, too. I'm going back. But it is right off of the main room right here. So I'm going to head back upstairs. Now, we're very quickly running out of time in this episode, but one thing I wanted to do was get some new technology set up. We need to make a Rock Smasher. Rock Smasher is going to help us double our ore early game. But in order to make that, we need to make some brass. And we need to use the brass to make some other parts. Um, I'm going to actually set this in here for the time being. Some bad guys that I killed. Let's put the spare swords and stuff up there. Um... Let's see. I've got all of these. Now I'm going to go over to Easy Crafting Table. Crucible. Mold. And then I need one, two, three of those. Plus, I need some wood for, oh gosh, what is it? carving table yeah so let's there we go right there okay let's grab this actually let's not be silly let's sleep first okay I'm actually gonna grab a couple of stacks cobblestone and we are going to, oh, actually, I did want that there. Silly me. I'm going to expand over the top of this actual dig site. Because we may as well use the space. Right there. Hi, how are you? You see that zombie off in the distance? Coming down the hill. He's right over there and he was pathing to trying to find me. Um, actually, change my mind. All this dig up, dig up, dug up. I do hear you. Get some hey -ya! jump hits. Hi -ya! I don't think it makes any difference. I really need to make a better sword. And soon. These guys are starting to test my patience. We're going to put the lava right there. Crucible right there. We're actually going to get the mold. I like actually having it look like it's supposed to work. <laughs> um, let's do carving table right there. We're going to get a chest and put it on top. And let's see. We need that's nugget mold, plate mold, and ingot mold. There we go. Which means I can cast some ingots now. 
duck inside real quick. Um, don't need that, don't need that. You can go back in there. I actually need six of those and two of those. Oh, silly me. I actually need those turned into ingots first. The uh, crucible does not. I think I'm going to just do cobblestone all the way over to the house here. I think that's going to look nice. The uh, crucible does not actually do ore processing. It doesn't actually do ore into ingots. What it does instead is it turns pre-existing ingots into alloys or plates. Hop up here. Or not. Hmm. I have a sneaking suspicion that I've run across a bug. Okay, well, we're going to have to address this next episode. I'm not sure what's going on. We'll see what we can actually make do. I'll uh, check with Blacksbeard. Maybe we can get it fixed. Uh, thank you very much for joining me. Until next time. I really appreciate you guys stopping by, watching the show, and following my antics. I'm really hoping we're going to get the mod pack out soon. Everybody can join in on things and really hit the ground running. So, this is Vagram signing off. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.